everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I was recently challenged by my friend Stacy over at Stacy's Country Cooking and she asked me to make a meal or an item that could be used for a few meals or stretch out through the week. So what I decided to do was make my refrigerator dough and show you guys four new ideas that you could use if you decided to make the refrigerator dough. I highly recommend that you go and check out my friend Stacy. She'll be linked down below and so will the video for the refrigerator dough. Let's get started. All right, to start, we're gonna lay down some bench flour and we're gonna work with one portion of our refrigerator dough. As you're working, you wanna make sure that you're using enough flour on the top, on the bottom, all over the rolling pin, all over your shirt, everywhere. You wanna make sure that the flour is everywhere so that the dough does not stick. So what I'm doing here is I am rolling out this dough into a nice rectangle. I'm cutting off that edge that made me look like I wasn't a professional dough roller. And I'm gonna add some butter to this rectangle of dough. Now on top of that, we are gonna add some brown sugar. Light brown sugar would also work, but today I used dark brown. After we spread that out, we're just gonna put some cinnamon all over the top and some walnuts. We're gonna give this dough a nice roll, making sure it's not too tight, but also not too loose. And we're gonna put it in our parchment lined loaf pan. Now I did not put mine in correctly and my seal kind of slipped up a little bit. So when I put it to the side to rest and rise, this is what it looked like. It was fine. I still just covered it with an egg wash, popped it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. And then when it came out, I put butter all over the top, guys. It was so delicious. This bread was amazing. It was just a cinnamon swirl bread. Now, alternatively, you could use Nutella, peanut butter, jelly. You could just make this a loaf of sandwich bread if you wanted to. Garlic, jalapenos, cheddar cheese, whatever you like. Now we're gonna move on to some dinner rolls. Now these are just gonna be some plain basic dinner rolls. I'm gonna start by buttering my nine by 13 dish and then pinching out the dough into what I think are equal portions. Mine are nowhere near perfect, nowhere near the same size or even shape, but if you really wanted to, you could use a scale to make yours perfect. So I just went around <laughs> I mean, I just went ahead and rolled up all of the balls of dough, put them close to each other in this pan, covered and let it rest until they doubled in size and they looked like this. Right here, I'm just going over the top of these rolls with an egg wash, with, which is just some egg and some water. Pop these into the 350 degree oven and they took about 35 minutes to look like this. These are just some basic dinner rolls that you could make and they are so delicious, guys. If you already have the dough in your refrigerator and you really need a side, a quick side for a meal, this is perfect. Turn these into garlic rolls, Parmesan rolls, cheddar cheese rolls, whatever kind of rolls you're looking for. And there they are, guys, the dinner rolls. Up next is this ham and cheese pinwheels. So just like with the loaf earlier, we're gonna put down some bench flour and we're gonna roll the dough into a larger rectangle this time. Now that we have it perfectly rolled, we are, <laughs> we are gonna go in with some butter. 
And right here, I'm just using some yellow mustard. I'm gonna rub it all over the surface, only leaving about one inch at the very top. Right here, I'm going in with everything but the bagel seasoning. I love that, you guys, it's so delicious, especially on this. And right here, I'm just going in with some cheddar cheese. On top of the cheddar cheese, I'm going in with some deli ham. And of course, you could use any ham, any turkey that you like. We're gonna roll this up and then cut off the edges. And we're gonna divide it as evenly as we are able. Now, this is one of the places I always struggle. Hopefully you're better than me, but it doesn't matter. After these went into the oven, 350 degrees for about 17 to 25 minutes, they came out like this. So delicious, guys. My kids absolutely love these. And last but not least, we're gonna work on these breakfast sliders. So right here, I just took the dinner rolls that I had earlier, cut them in half, put on some cheese, went in with some bacon, lots of bacon, I guess. Then I went in with some scrambled eggs. These were leftover. Of course, use anything that you like on here. More cheese on top, that's just for good measure. And hopefully you were able to keep your bread together. I was not, but it worked out fine. I just put them all together as best I could, gave them a little squish, and they were good. Now on top, we're gonna go in with a little bit of butter. And that butter is only to make sure that the Parmesan cheese sticks. After I put on the Parmesan, these went into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes until they came out like this. They're so good, guys. You could turn these into any kind of sliders that you like. I don't know why I chose the corner one to show you here, but even though it's not the prettiest, it was still delicious. So there it is, guys. Four new ideas to use for the refrigerator dough. Don't forget to check out my friend Stacy. She'll be linked down below. So will the refrigerator dough. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and come back to my kitchen anytime.